Hi, hello guys. Hope you're all doing great. Today we're going to talk about five things that will kill your career. Well, most of our adult life, we spend time figuring out the right career options and the right job that can help us climb a success ladder. What next? Well, you have a secure job. Not that secure actually, because you keep committing mistakes that can knowingly or unknowingly cause a threat to your career. Although most of us try to give it our best shot, it's pretty much understandable that it's impossible to not make mistakes at all. Well, the good news is that if you keep yourself aware of these mistakes, then you could probably avoid them and take complete control over them from creeping upon you and kill your career. So after a few interactions with the managers and their employees, we have listed the few common mistakes and we will be discussing tips on how to overcome these challenges. We felt the need of this video to tell you guys that these are the things that you should absolutely avoid doing. Among the five things that are listed, the one that tops the list is the overpromising and underdelivery. Well, we know how that feels. That is because you keep promising the sun and moon to your clients and your colleagues. That sounds a little bit exaggerated, but that's what we do. We keep making promises and what you need to remember is when you make a promise, the other person would expect nothing less. Have you ever imagined what if you fall short of things and you're not able to meet up your expectations? You would end up looking terrible, which you do not want to. So the piece of advice is make sure that you do not undershoot your goals and be very much realistic about your deliverables, your outcome, and most importantly, your deadlines. Because deadline extensions can drive people crazy. Now, the second and the most common mistake that we do is not framing our emails properly. Imagine a scenario where you miscommunicate and they misunderstand. That's a total disaster. That pretty much sums up how important emails are in our professional communication. We should always make sure that we write emails in a proper way and make sure that we do not lose the essence of communication. Quick tips that can fix your emails are, firstly, keep it short and snappy. Second, do not overdo your abbreviations. No decorative language no smileys, and most importantly, proofread your emails before you hit that send button. Now, the third point, that is your low emotional intelligence. What is emotional intelligence? Have you ever seen a person who's really cool and chill? Who can handle the most awkward social situation with grace? Who's always concerned about others being uncomfortable and make sure that he feels at ease? then the chances are high that you are seeing a person who possesses attributes to what psychologists refer to as emotional intelligence. Now, on the contrary, imagine yourself walking into the office with a poorly developed poker face where people can easily figure out that you're anxious or you're irritated or you're disturbed. Or maybe you give out an expression where people can figure out that you're irritated with their talks. What kind of impression are you leaving behind? We know that impression matters a lot, right? Now, the piece of advice is make sure that you handle your emotional outbursts and you're very much aware about your situation, your surroundings, and most importantly, be self-aware to not portray yourself as a person with low emotional intelligence. Now, the fourth mistake is losing focus on the bigger picture. It's head down easy for us to work on the task that's right in front of us. But what we always have to remember is that we need to focus on the bigger picture. Here, the bigger picture refers to the task that gives you recognition in your organization. Now, what most smart people do is they try to weigh their daily priorities against their very much calculated goals. It's not that to not focus on the small tasks, but they just try to structure their routine so that they do not face any hurdles to prove their ultimate goal. Now, this is very much applicable here. Ultimately, we just want to tell you that the bigger picture is everything. And if you lose focus on that, everything else will suffer. Now, the last but not the least is getting too comfortable with your job. If you stick to one job for too long, you enter your comfort zone and you develop the fear of change. You need to remember that when your employer has hired you, he has hired you out of certain expectations. And if you're not able to meet those expectations, then you are a deal breaker. Now, what we're trying to tell you is not to move to a new job or shift your field. We're simply trying to tell you that do your same tasks in a more interesting way and more challenging way. Always be on your toes for learning and welcome new opportunities. Then you will start seeing yourself in a better way out of blue. 
So to bring it all together, most people are under the assumption that only a big misstep in their career can have a bad impact, but usually it's not that dramatic. So practice the points that we have discussed in this video and let us know how it changed your career in the comment section below. We would love to hear it from you guys. So thanks for watching. For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel.